Hey everybody, what's happening? Hope you're doing well today. Um, coming back to you, book two pieces to play. We, in the previous uh, few lessons we had done uh, uh, step by step out of the book two of Edna Mae Burnham's. And um, so today we're going to work on this book. Um, I, I'm just going to basically go through these songs. Uh, if you've finished book two, then this should be pretty self-explanatory, but this is, this is a great exercise to go through and actually get these songs down as well as you possibly can. And if I see anything as I go through this, I will point it out to you. Again, the main thing is you just want to try to see uh, how this fits into the chords. Maybe I'll point that out as, as to, you know, like what key we're in and, and then, you know, how the notes fall within a chord. And uh, because that just really reinforces your, your note reading when you do it that way. Um, and also, just going through these and learning these songs, uh, and I mean like really learning them, can really help a lot. Um, you know, you, don't, you just don't want to skim through and do each one once. Uh, try to go through and, and to where you can go um, from page one, go all the way through to the end of the book and be able to play one after the other. Um, which is actually, uh, can, can be quite the challenge sometimes. I mean, if you want to go through and not make any mistakes. Um, so anyways, let's just dive right in and please, please subscribe to my, my uh, channel and uh, feel free to go by and check out the, uh, the musiclessons101.org too. That's uh, my teaching website and uh, um, lots of information there as well. Okay, so today uh, we're going to start off page three, A Canyon Deep. Um, this is in the key of C. We don't have any sharps or flats. Um, and right off the bat on this one here, it's important to get the fingering down. Um, they don't have any finger numbers on this one, it looks like. Uh, so uh, we're basically playing a C chord, but it's best on this one if you put uh, fingers 3 and 5 on the E and the G note. Okay? Okay, that's a canyon deep. Um, the only thing that to, to notice about that is they're they're playing a C. Remember the um, three main chords in the key of C is our C, our F, and our G. Um, this deal here, this dissonant sound, we talked about that. That's the G seventh um, that they're playing um, throughout the song. And again, like this is a, a G. This is the seventh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's a G seventh. If you take this G here, put it back on top, that's where that's coming from, and then they just have the root and the third here. Okay. So that's um, where that's coming from in that song. So it looks like you're you're basically playing um, a C and a G seventh throughout the song. Okay, um, so said I'm not going to get into analyzing it too, too much. Let's do the next one, Stained Glass Window in a Church. Uh, again, we're in the key of C. This one, they have given you some finger numbers, on, you know, just like we did in the last one. So they just have a, a C chord, but they've just got it split between uh, your left hand and your right hand.
Okay, Shoemaker on page 5 um, is in the key of F. Not too much to say about this one. Uh, some nice little trills in there, um, which is a good, a good finger exercise. Okay, the next one is Candles on page 7. Um, we are in the key of G because we have an F sharp. And as I've said in, in earlier lessons, it's best if you go through whenever you start a song, you know, run through the scale just to kind of orientate yourself um, um, with your sharps and flats. Um, <clears throat> So we've got uh, two and four. It's going to be on your G and your B. And the thumb is on D. So this is a little bit uh, different uh, fingering position. Watching an ice skater. Okay, now we're in three, four. So we gotta get that uh, kind of the waltz time. Um, let's see this one here. Um, to, to kind of prepare you for the next uh, song that's coming up here, um, when you come to this A, it says uh, do this A with your second finger. So you're gonna have. Okay, sunset. Uh, okay, we're back to the key of C. Um, so this one is, is doing that same type of deal with the fingering uh, as the last one. So you have um, you're basically playing a C chord with your left hand.
Okay, next we have a garden, key of F. Um, luckily they've got, uh, there's your F chord right here, so again, you're kind of thinking of your F chord. Um, your right hand starting on the third of F. Um, Now this last part here, it's easier um, when you let me take you through that real quick. Um, when they're on this, um, now they're going to go to this um, F minor, and they have a, a one here on this F. It's actually easier if you leave this third finger here the first time, then do this. So that makes a little bit more sense. Um, you know, it's fine the way it's written in the book, but that will help just a little bit. At least it helps me. Okay, then we come to the very last one, Holiday Time. Can you see? Okay, so that's it, folks. That's uh, um, pieces to play, um, step by step, with step by step, I should say. So practice these songs. Uh, that's it. Like I said, it's a great exercise and a great supplement for the for the other book that they have. And this will, if you do this, this will actually help you quite a bit when you get to book three, which we will. Uh, be moving on to next after this. So again, uh, folks, I sure appreciate you dropping by and um, please hit the subscribe button and um, please check out some of my other videos and also drop by my website uh, www.musiclessons101.org and uh, feel free to subscribe there too and, and check it out. Um, uh, there's a lot of extra things there like the lyrics and some other pieces of information, some handouts and stuff like that for the lesson. So anyways, hope you have a wonderful day and we will see you next time around. Okay, bye-bye.